Hi guys, welcome to another exciting episode on the show pages. My name is Tiana Wadbasi and it's so good to have you join us on the show today. Today we'll be looking at a very interesting topic, preserving our cultural values. I don't know what you think about that, but I feel it's a very wonderful thing. And we have our guest in the house, Mr. John Ofyong. It's so good to have you join us on the show Thank today. He's actually the founder and the initiator of Usain Efe Carnival. Usain Efe Carnival, which is actually going to be taking place here in the city of Abuja. Mr. John, you know, culture is a very beautiful thing. It's our way of life. It's our identity. It's what makes us who we are. I And some persons actually have those views that culture has to do with voodooism, has to do with the voodoo practice. Uh, where, how do you solve this disparity between culture, traditional festivals, and voodoo? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, um, Welcome. We've had a lot of stories that way. You know, but, mm. uh, I want to tell you that culture is a very beautiful thing. Mm. It's what we've inherited from our forebearers and it's what, what identities are. And um, when you talk of voodooism, uh, I don't think it has much to do with the culture that I'm going to talk about. Okay. You know, it might, it's possible it might be there, mm -hmm. but don't get it wrong. You know, a culture are very unique things that we have, you know, the culture, it's what we identifies us from where we come from, you know. Um, well, maybe when you talk about Buddhism, maybe you're talking about the court that is outside, that is inside of the culture, you know, but there's some beautiful parts of mm. the culture too. I'll give you an example, the, where I come from, I'm an, I'm an, an ethnic man, mm. we have this Ikbe called court, mm. then before now, Ikwe used to be like the government. It's what we use in going after people to pay their taxes. You know, there's nothing like Buddhism there. Mm -hmm. You know, and so we have to educate people. People have to know. A lot of people don't know. That's why they make up their mind and feel and feel that all it's about juju and all that. Yeah. You know, so we have to educate people on these things. Yeah. You know. Thank you very much. So do you think that um, culture, our cultural values affect us positively or negatively? Yeah, um, our cultural values, um, well to some extent it does, you know, to some extent it does. Um, I want to put it this way, if you take an example of an ethnic man that married an uh, Igbo lady mm -hmm. or an Igbo man that marries an ethnic lady, mm -hmm. You know, there's bound to be some conflict in culture. Of course. You know, mm -hmm. for example, the evil, ethnic man that marries an evil lady, one, the kids might likely not speak ethnic, especially okay. if they live outside of Calabar. Yes. Or if they live outside of the vicinity where the husband is from, mm. and then the city, for example, Abuja, or Lagos, or Port Harcourt, you barely find people that speak the language with the kids if the mm. parents don't speak it. And don't forget, at school they speak English. So yes. we always encourage, try as much as possible to speak your own language at home. Mm. But it's difficult to some extent. Okay. Because it's something you have to make effort towards, you know. Mm. So with that, it affects our culture. Because the ladies might not really understand what her husband's culture is unless she's been educated on it. You understand what I mean? Mm. So we try to encourage people, husbands and our men's and families to try to educate their loved ones on their culture, mm. you know, so that we can prolong what we yeah. already have. That's know. right. Yeah. Um, so, does this you have an event coming up soon here in Abuja? It's called Usana for, Usana Carni yeah. for Carnival. What is this event all about? That's basically what we're talking about now. <laughs> the reason behind Usana for is this. We've come to realize that we that live in the city, mm -hmm. our kids don't speak our language, our kids don't know our culture, our kids don't know much about our food. Mm -hmm. So we decided, okay, look, let's bring this thing here to bring the city, it home to, the here, city. to our adopted home, mm -hmm. which is Abuja. Mm -hmm. Let's bring it here so that those that have not gone home for years, the kids will come there and dance the equipment masks, the different masks we're going to bring into town. And then they will ask their parents question, why haven't us been going, why, why, why haven't we been going home to, to partake in this decent and nice culture of us, of ours, you know. So that is the reason behind us in effort. So that our wives too, that are not from Calabar, will get to see the beauty part of our culture, yeah. you know. So 
That's one of the reasons why we are doing Usain Bolt. And it's another thing is this: it's a day of like Thanksgiving for the ethics in Abuja. Okay. That we come all come together from wherever you are, mm -hmm. sit together under one umbrella, have our meals together, dance and together, together. Yes, and made made together. together. Exactly. I get. So how's the response been so far? Is this the first episode or the second episode? Well, the f this is the second episode. The okay. first one was last year, third of December. Um, 2016. Okay. It was the first one. We had about 700 there about wow. crowd. Mm -hmm. But this year the response has been so awesome. I'll tell you, we have people coming from the United States. We have people coming from the UK. Wow. Even the album of Calabar is sending a representative. Wow. The Calabar community in London is sending a representative. And everybody's looking forward to it. Mm. It's going to be a, a, a big carnival. It's wow. going to be a big carnival. The semi calabar carnival here in Abuja. Exactly. <laughs> that's what people are calling it. <laughs> that, that, that's nice. Thank you so much, sir. Well, um, what is this, this particular characteristic feature that makes the ethnic culture unique and different from every other culture? Yeah, have man, we, 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 say it, we say that if we get, if we get in Bakara, okay. which means ethnic man are white people. Okay. Addressing our, our behaviors as completely different. Mm. You know, I'll give you an example. Why the reason why they say it's from Edin Bakara? One of the reasons, not the reason per se. Mm. Do you know that it's only in Epic land that when a king is being crowned, it takes it will take it to the church. So oh. just like it's done in England. Mm. You know, when you're crowning a king, it's done in the church in Duke Town, which is called we call it a kind a kind of a kind of um, uh, Duke Town Presbyterian Church. Though mm. you are called folk, you know. So we do the Epic. Our lifestyle is different. You know, we are very nice and very homely people. We receive everybody, you know. And I, I keep telling people that it's only in Calabar that a Hausa man can be a counselor. <laughs> yes, that's, that's Sounds the Sounds funny. <laughs> you know, so we are very homely and very nice yeah. people. Yeah. So what do, we, what do we tend to expect from this year's um, carnival, from yeah, this uh, year's celebration? Yeah, the few things you're going to have there, mm -hmm. we haven't different varieties of masquerades then we're going to have different calabar dishes too we have like a food court where you can walk okay. down have your meal test the kind of thing you'll be hearing of they are found the bank book wall they are back so many of them you know so it's all added together all the culture all complete where is this year's event taking place you know, it's, taking, it's going to take place on mm. the same venue which we had it last year, which is the River Plate Park uh, in Muse too. Okay. Yeah, that's where we're having it again this year. Alright viewers, it's taking place at the River Plate Park. We'll say too, and it's happening live on the 25th of November. I can urge you all out there to join us at this wonderful carnival. You know, you've been hearing about Calabar Carnival, and trust me, this is an opportunity for myself to also be a part of this year's event. It's been a wonderful time on the show pages, and I've got to learn a whole lot. I hope you did say it's one thing to have a culture, a beautiful culture, it's another thing to preserve it. I urge us out there to teach our children and also teach ourselves on how important our culture is to everyone. Of us. Thank you so much for joining us on the show pages and please don't forget to send your contributions, your suggestions to the social media handles will be displayed on your screen right now. I get to see you next time. It's still Tiana World Passive. Thank you.